This is a top list selected generously by me, only the best of the best. I'm gonna talk about the top 5 plugins that Blender 2.8 has built in, but new people and sometimes even old Blender users don't know about. The best thing about the plugins is that you don't need to download anything, you just need to go to Preferences, Add-ons tab and search for the plugin name Cyberwide. Extra Objects Just like how the name suggests, these are extra objects for you, pre-created so you don't have to create them yourself. The basic objects include, for example, the cube and plane, but what about a nice little diamond, eh? See? Get out of my way, stupid default cube. You can mass produce jewelry with this easily and very fast. Just like all vanilla objects, the extra objects have extra options down here under this menu. But sadly, if you click away, your settings will disappear. Although diamonds are very nice to have, the Extra Objects plugin gives you Twisted Taurus, Taurus Knot, which is very interesting actually. This looks like a, mm, a very nice little object, yes. Let's see what we can make out of this. Well, nothing good, but I'm confident you will be able to create better things with this than me, so this is very useful. Maybe for abstract art or a sick little object for your game that you didn't know you needed until now. Back to our Shift A menu, we have more to choose from. We have pipe joints under the mechanical menu, which can be very good for quickly creating pipes, of course. And these are actually pretty tough models to make in Blender, so it's nice to have these pre made with parametric options available. The next thing I would like to show for my statistics and math loving fans is the ability to have mathematical objects that you can define using formulas. If I add this here, this will change dynamically. It's that easy. Go ahead and check out all the nice things we can create with this great built-in plugin. It has way more function than uh, just this. Ant landscape. Although I should probably call it ANT landscape. But I like this name better. This is the best landscape generator you need for Blender 2.8. This is not just a free, but built-in Blender. And it's not just free, but it's built into Blender by default. Enable this in the preferences to immediately get this little icon here in your Shift A menu. This is a new object, a landscape. You don't need to waste your time sculpting your landscapes when you can generate them yourself. There are hundreds of variations you can create for your scenes, animations or games with this. There are so many options I could make a whole video on just this plugin alone. If you want me to, make sure to tell me in the comments and I will make a true tutorial on this plugin. Also, for demonstration what you can achieve with this landscape plugin, check out my animation I made in Blender uh, with Cycles tab or click on that card up there. This plugin has a lot of built-in presets, you are able to create your own presets with it. An idea I will provide for this is that you are free to combine generating landscapes with sculpting or proportional editing, which uh, could be used for making roads or other things in your landscape. Imagine there are infinite possibilities to create any landscape with this that you want. Sapling Tree Generator Sapling Tree Generator is a free plugin that is built into Blender, but you need to enable it. It's one of the best free plugins out there for complex tree generation. The only bad side of it is that if you click away, the tree settings will disappear. Just like the settings for the basic Blender objects like the cube and there's no way to modify your tree with the plugin afterwards, so be careful. The best thing is that it has built-in presets, so you can learn from them too. There are options to configure branches, how they look, how detailed they are, what direction should they face, and you can randomize them. If you are delighted with your settings, it's easy to save your own presets for later use. Which I strongly recommend, because anytime you click away, you have to start over. With some presets and changing the seed value, it's very easy to create your own type of trees and then generate a lot of variations for them. So let's create our very personal tree. 
I'm not going into details of the creation uh, process, but as you can see the video. I'm not going into details of the creation process, but as you can see in the video, you can configure every bench separately, define the growth, change all the values, so you have a lot of control. The only thing you can't really create with this is palm trees, but pine and other trees are easy to create with this. And uh, one of the final useful functions uh, is that there is auto rigging for the trees, and with a slider you can create wind force that will move the trees with the rig. The animated tree will be perfect for animations and videos, it's clear we are dealing with a very powerful plugin. And all this for free. The trees don't have textures, so you need to get them from online sites, but UV maps are perfect, so to add a leaf all you need to do is select these planes and add a texture and they will be where they should be. Ivy Generator just like sapling tree generator, this is also a generator for nature scenes, but this time it is located in the sidebar. Which is a good thing too, as you don't have to worry, uh, you click away and ruin your whole life. I will waste minutes of your time after you set up some trees. There are a lot of options here as well, and it's a bit hard to understand how to use this for the first glance, but it's still very good and has a lot of options. What you need to have is a basic object and a 3D cursor. The IV will grow from the location of your 3D cursor and it will only grow on your object. So you have to keep this in mind when you create your scene and place objects. You might need to join some objects into one if you want very complex IVs, but don't forget you can create more of the IVs, so even if you have more objects, there is nobody stopping you from adding an IV to them. The IVs don't have textures either, but they have a good UV map you can work with, just like sapling tree generator, so as uh, soon as you find a leaf texture, you can slap it onto these white planes and they will come on into life. If you want your IV to be low poly, just put a decimal modifier on it and it will be a lot more uh, uh, computer friendly and game friendly of course. But this is good, as you see, it's good for both photorealistic and stylized IV generation and maybe um, they can work with the games too as uh, soon as you cut back on the poly count. No, the Farangle. You probably see this a lot in my videos and other tutorials, but I can't stress how important it is to use this add-on because it saves you minutes per day, hours per week and days in your life. The simplest and most important functions are the setup uh, principal shader automatically function and the no doubt with viewer function which also work for computing. Which also works for computing. This gives you an idea about your mast, or when you have complex node trees, see the mix shaders one by one without having to connect and reconnect everything. The output quick view function lets you view different up outputs of a node with only some clicks instead of having to unplug and plug all the node outputs on a function rich node. The principal shader setup is a must have function because when you have PBR textures, it just automatically sets up the whole node tree without you having to do anything. Setting up the materials all the time, especially when you have 30 materials in your Arcviz interior or more, is no fun and completely a waste of time. With this, the problem is resolved completely. And with the Ctrl T function, you can still speed up adding single texture nodes when you want to resize or rotate them globally with the mapping and texture coordinate nodes. The node Wrangler is saving time a lot, whatever you use it for, as it works uh, everywhere where you see nodes in Blando. The last uh, function that I want to mention is the Alt Click function, which gives you the ability to grab a node and it is located between two other nodes and drag it out of the way and while doing that the add-on reconnects uh, the two nodes automatically so you don't have to.
These were the top 5 add-ons that can boost Blender's function uh, beyond what you will expect from it and all of them save you time and uh, have a lot of nice functions. Hope you like this and if you subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to get notified of my newest videos. If you want to support me check out my CG Trader account where I have free and paid nice models and check out my Patreon if you want to donate instead that way. See you guys.